What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. Two videos in today because we have a major announcement that just happened here about an hour ago. William Byron has signed a contract extension with Hendrick Motorsports through 2022. William Byron, for those who don't know, has been with Hendrick Motorsports since 2018. And the biggest reason that William Byron has re-signed with Hendrick Motorsports is because of his win at Daytona. I think that's what really was holding him back from signing the Ascension this long to begin with. But it's pretty cool to see that William is going to be back at Hendrick Motorsports next year in 2022. I've been very high on William Byron since he started his career. You know, in 2016, William Byron almost won the Truck Series Championship with KBM. You know, he probably should have won it, but, you know, he had an engine blow and he missed the Final Four, which really, 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 really sucked, which that's why the playoff points came in. One of the biggest reasons there. 2017, he went on to win the Xfinity Series Championship with Junior Motorsports, which Rick Hendrick owns, by the way. So he's kind of a Hendrick team in a sense. He won three races that season, and he ran really well that season, consistency, and he got to the championship four and went on to win a championship. Since coming to the Cup Series, he's kind of been rocky for William Byron. He had a really, really bad rookie year, did not really run that great, if we're going to be honest. But 2019, we saw an uptick in performance, and really the biggest reason the uptick in performance happened was with Chad Knauss. They went on to make the round of 12, almost made it to the round of 8, and were contenders for wins at a couple races that year, and had, I think, four or five top fives that season, so he ran pretty well. This year has kind of been rocky for William Byron once again. I think he and Chad Knauss have both really been impacted by the COVID-19 virus, and I think that's one of, one of the biggest reasons why William Byron has really struggled this year. I thought William Byron was going to come in here and start winning a couple races this year. And he finally did this year score his first win in his NASCAR Cup Series career at Daytona National Speedway. But really then, other having that really strong performance in Daytona by winning the race and having a really strong run at Dover, he's been very quiet this year. He hasn't run that great. But he's got time now to really develop himself. And I do believe in William Byron, he is going to be a championship contender next year, I think. He's going to start finally figuring himself out. I think it's taken him a lot longer to develop in the Cup Series. And he's still very young. He's only 22 years old. So he's got plenty of time to grow as a driver in the Cup Series. I do have a lot of faith in William Byron. And I think that he is going to do a lot and bring a lot for the Hendrick Motorsports team in the future. I think William Byron is, a, is an awesome driver. You know, this 2014... A lot of people feel like it's cursed because William Byron, you know, is driving what Jeff Gordon drove. And a lot of people thought 2014 could not win when Chase Elliott drove. And it didn't look like they were going to be contending much for wins this year. They got some momentum, like I said, and went out and won a Daytona. That's a huge win. I think, like I said, that is the biggest reason why he got re-signed through 2022. Now, the only driver now that is not signed through 2022 completely right now is Alex Bowman. I think he signed a one-year extension with Hendrick Motorsports. So he's only signed through 2021. We don't know what's going on with Alex Bowman after next year. If Bowman puts up good performances like he did at the beginning of this year, there's a very good chance there. But like I said, William Byron has so much time to develop himself. And I'm really happy to see that. You know, I think William Byron is an awesome driver. He's Really one of the fastest growers. He didn't take a lot of time for him. You know, he started his career on a computer. I mean, yeah, it's true, but he also was racing at a time while he was racing on a computer. He was developing his skills. And I think that is what he needs. He's more learning. He needs more time. I think if he had practice or qualifying this year, I think he would be contending for wins a lot more and helping Andrew Motorsports out. I mean, this year he did really run really well in the Pro Invitational. You know, he ran fantastic in that series. Was the best driver now, along with Timmy Hill, of course. And he was really good in that. And I thought he was going to get momentum from that after the pro invitation when we ran back at Darlington. And Henry Motorsports this year, been, been, I think Henry Motorsports has also been, in fact, impacted as time's going on with the COVID-19 virus. You know, I don't think Chad Knauss is completely in the groove. I think Chad Knauss is definitely one of the best crew chiefs of all time. But I think that William Byron is one of the drivers that, like I said, it has been impacted with the COVID-19 virus. But, man, I am just so happy to see William Byron back next, at least for two years. I pretty much knew he was going to be coming back next year in 2021. I didn't know that he wasn't completely signed, though. I thought he already been signed for next year. But it's great to see that William Byron is going to be back. I'm just I'm happy to see another driver who, you know, I've supported for a long time. I've supported William Byron since 2016. When he won that 2017 championship, like I said, I was so, so stoked and so happy. And I am now very, very, very happy 
that William Byron is going to be back in the Cup Series through 2022. That makes me really happy. So anyway, I had a quick second video here for you guys today to do. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you can be notified when a video does go live on my channel. What do you think about William Byron being signed through 2022? Do you think it's a rush to sign through 2022 or not? Hendrick doing that. Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow, I will be releasing my predictions for the Darlington race. So if you're new to the channel, I'll kind of explain that to you guys how that goes. And we'll talk about that here tomorrow. And we're also very close to 300 subscribers. So we're actually two away from that. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.